dear students welcome back to physics classroom 8th standard science 1 term 2 unit 6 sound previous class we have discussed sound waves speed of sound in different medium today class we are going to discuss about types of mechanical wave properties of sound ok children let us move on to the today's topic how do astronauts communicate in space sound cannot travel through the vacuum of space we know that children because sound needs a medium to communicate but visible light and other forms of electromagnetic radiation can. One of which is radio. How do astronauts communicate with each other? The astronauts have devices in their helmets which transfer the sound waves from their voices into radio waves and transmit it to the ground. Astronauts have devices in their helmets which transfer the sound waves from their voices into radio waves and transmit them to ground. This is how a radio at home works. Radio waves are often thought to be a form of sound, but they are not a sound waves, that is radio waves. Next we are going to discuss about types of mechanical waves. There are two types of uh, mechanical waves, they are transverse wave and longitudinal waves. Transverse wave and longitudinal waves. What is transverse wave? In a transverse wave, the particles of the medium, the particles of the medium vibrate in a direction, which is perpendicular to the direction of propagation of the wave. Example, waves in strings light waves etc. Transverse waves are produced only in solids and liquids. Transverse waves are produced only in solids and liquids. Next we are going to discuss about longitudinal waves. What is longitudinal waves? Longitudinal waves vibrate parallel to the direction of travel of the wave. Sound waves are very good children. Longitudinal waves. In a longitudinal wave, the particles of the medium vibrate in a direction which is parallel to the direction of propagation of the wave. For example, waves in springs Sound waves in a medium. Sound waves in a medium. Longitudinal waves are produced in solids, liquids and also in very good children gases. Next we are going to discuss about seismic wave formed during earthquake. Is an example for a longitudinal wave. When the seismic wave formed during earthquake is an example for longitudinal wave. The waves traveling through a layers of the earth due to explosions. Earthquakes and volcano explosions 
explosions are called seismic waves what is seismic waves waves traveling through the layer of earth due to explosions earthquakes and volcano explosions are called seismic waves using a hydrophone and seismic a uh, seismometer one can study these waves and record them which one is help to record earthquake hydrophone and seismometer one can study these waves and record them seismology is the branch of science seismology is the branch of science that deals with the study of seismic waves that deals with the study of seismic waves what is seismogram what is seismogram a seismogram is a graph output by a seismograph it is a record of the ground motion at a measuring station as a function of time seismograms typically record motions in three cartesian axis x y and z with the z axis perpendicular to the earth surface and the x and y axis parallel to the surface next we are going to discuss about seismic wave formed during earthquake is an example for a very good children longitudinal wave waves traveling through the layers of the earth due to explosions earthquakes and volcanic explosions are called seismo waves using the hydrophone and seismometer one can study these waves and record them so seismology is the branch of science that deals with the study of seismic waves next we are going to discuss about properties of sound all sounds that we hear are not the same there are some properties that differentiate one kind of sound from another we will study about these properties now first of all we are going to see uh, loudness what is loudness the loudness of a sound increases with the amplitude of sound wave the loudness of a sound increases with the amplitude of the sound wave have you differentiate differentiate this waves children so it is defined as the characteristics of a sound that enables us to distinguish weak or feeble sound from a loud sound the loudness of a sound it depends on its amplitude the loudness of a sound it depends on its amplitude it's denoted by the symbol a higher the amplitude louder will be the sound and voice versa when a drum is softly beaten a weak sound is produced however when it is beaten strongly a loud sound is produced so the unit of loudness of sound is decibel the symbol is db next we are going to see pitch what is pitch two types of pitch is there one is lower pitch another one is high pitch the pitch is the characteristics of sound the pitch is the characteristics of sound that enables us to distinguish between flat 
sound and shrill sound two types of pitch is there higher pitch and lower pitch higher pitch is known as shrill lower pitch is known as flat higher frequency of sound higher will be the pitch high pitch add shrillness of a sound the sound produced by a whistle okay give some examples of shrillness of sound a whistle a bell a flute and a violin or high pitch sounds what are the musical instruments is a example of high pitch whistle bell a flute a violin normally the voice of a female has a higher pitch than a male normally the voice of a female has a higher pitch than a male that is why female's voice is shriller than a male's voice some examples of low pitch sound are the roar of a line the roar of a line low pitch sound are the roar sound of a line and the beating of a drum and the beating of a drum so two examples of low pitch that is flat sound roar of a line and the beating of a drum next quality or timbre what is timbre the particular tone that distinguishes a sound or combination of sounds so are their voice female or male is the music instrumental which instrumental family some key words are given here tone quality voices instrumental strings would be keyboard brass percussion so what is quality or timbre the quality or timbre is the characteristics of sound the quality or timbre is the characteristics of sound that enable us to distinguish between two sounds that have a same pitch and amplitude that have a same pitch and amplitude for example is an orchestra the sounds produced by the some musical instruments may have the same pitch and loudness yet you can distinctly identify the sound produced by a each instrument next audibility and range according to the frequency we can classify the sound into three types one is audible audible sound infrasonic sound and ultrasonic sound three types of sounds are there audible sound infrasonic sound and ultrasonic sound we know that children the human ear audible 20 hertz to 20000 hertz sound with frequency ranging from 20 hertz to 20000 hertz is called sonic sound or audible sound sonic sound or audible sound 20 hertz to 20000 hertz sound with this frequency range alone can be heard by the human beings human ears cannot hear sounds with frequencies below 20 hertz or above 20000 hertz so the above range is called audible range of sound so the above range is called audible range of sound next we are going to see infrasonic before that once again we can uh, recall audible range of sound example the human ear responds to sounds with frequencies in the range from 20 hertz to 20000 hertz this is called the audible range of the human ear 
for example drums guitar strings tuning fork human voice cords and diaphragms of loud speakers are example of audible range of sound audible range of sound give some example loud speaker and human voice cords audible sound waves whose frequencies are less than audible sound waves whose frequencies are less than 20 hertz are in the infrasonic range what is infrasonic range audible sound waves whose frequencies are less than 20 hertz are in are in the uh, infrasonic range sound produced by earthquakes sound produced by earthquakes thunder volcanoes are in the infrasonic range so the example of infrasonic range sound produced by earthquakes thunder volcanoes are in the infrasonic range what causes infrasonics there are a number of natural reasons for infrasonics it can be caused by the wind it can be caused by the wind air currents or other meteorological reason but machines for example compressors or heavy vehicles can also cause these sound waves human ear can't hear this sound but elephant elephants Uh, elephants and whales can hear these frequencies above 20 20000 hertz or in ultrasonic range what is ultrasonic range human ear can't hear this sound but elephants and whales can hear these frequencies it's above 20000 hertz that is called ultrasonic range the audible range of dogs cats moths mice extend into ultra sound frequencies so they can hear very high frequencies that humans cannot next we are going to discuss about a infrasonic sound a sound with a frequency below 20 hertz is called subsonic or infrasonic sound Humans cannot hear the sound of this frequency but some animals dog dolphin etc can hear this sound uses of infrasonic sound are it is employed in the earth monitoring system it is employed in the earth monitoring system it is employed in the earth monitoring system it is also used in the study of mechanism of a human heart next we are going to discuss ultrasonic sound a sound with a frequency greater than 20000 hertz is called ultrasonic sound animals such as bats dogs dolphins etc are able to hear certain ultrasonic sound as well some of the uses of ultrasonic sounds are it is extensively used in medical applications like sonogram it is extensively used in medical applications like sonogram also it is used in the sonar system to detect the depth of the sea and to detect the depth of the sea and detect enemy submarines so bat can hear the sounds of frequencies higher than 20000 hertz sir bats produce ultrasonic sound during screaming these ultrasonic waves help them to locate their way and the prey so some of the uses of ultrasonic sounds are 
remaining two it is also employed in dishwashers another important application of ultrasound is the golden's whistle this whistle is inaudible to the human ear but it can be heard by the dogs it is used to train the dogs for investigation thank you children we will meet at next class